Welcome back to the aquarium. Today we're making plays and missing wingman shots. The classic, baby! That's how we do it, baby. Double purple shield building. Always great. Let's go kill him. This was a game of mostly making use of Valkyrie. Getting to spots where they don't expect you. Dropping in from above. One of the best parts about her is to stay so safe until there's really an engagement. Then you can take care of it. Wish there'd been a third. We saw a lifeline package over here, so we kind of collapsed on. I took the height advantage, as for always. Stay out of trouble. Get the overwatch. Start blasting. Let's you miss a lot more shots if you don't actually have to fight anybody up close. Always good for me. It's really frustrating, you know, to get up close with somebody and then they just kill you and you sit there watching your team fail when it could be you failing while still alive. And honestly, I think that's the most important part of Apex. Put yourself in a position where you're not punished for fucking up. You win lots of games! Not this one, necessarily. I mean, maybe we win. You should stick around for the full video to find out. Drop a like while you can before the action gets too intense! But if you don't feel like it, I get it. You hate the channel. You don't want to see the algorithm snatch me up and heat me into the, the stratosphere, but no biggie. Or right about here, we attract the attention of two extra squads. The one that collapses on the squad we're currently fighting, they kind of pose a problem, because if we push through them, then we have to fight two squads, whereas they're getting third party. We also have a second squad right here. This party that collapses on us, the clear option is rope one for them, because they don't have anyone behind them, so if we finish them off, then we're in a good spot to reset, whereas if we, we push need to the, just pick one and kill them. If we push the other way, then we're just going to get clacked by the other third party. So this is obviously the better choice. It's two down. Alright, they're fighting already. Let's just move that way. Seems like a safer option. We can go for the win. So there's two squads fighting right on the left side of us. This whole fight was kind of a shit show. Not really much we could have done here. All four squads decided to show up. This is the death place on this map. If you show up here, you're either leaving with eight kills or you are going to die. There is no in between. It is simply kind of the central point of the map for everywhere. And I'm not really sure how we could have played this better. We should have probably just gone to zone instead of even bothering with this, but you know, greed is a thing. I tried to time the arc star on the Jibby Shield so that it would just drop down right as it collapsed. It did, but there wasn't anyone still on the shield, so I couldn't get anything off of it. Really unfortunate. Um, I think there was a point here right after I clipped this guy three times. We should have just pushed them because there's a lull in the fighting. And immediately after that, we got pushed. And fall back down the hill. You'll see what happens. I'm calling out for us to fall back. Didn't matter, unfortunately. There's just too many people. And when there's this many people, you're kind of in a position of choosing where to die. Making use of Valkyrie's mobility to dodge all the shots. It's actually a pretty good clip of how you can best minimize the hitbox. But unfortunately, ran into a full extra squad. Oh, good try, guys. That's life, though. Thanks for watching. Tap the glass. Keep on swimming.